It's late March and it's a really dark, gloomy, foggy, misty day. Uh, basically the light levels are about zero outside, but in here it's full high light levels and we're able to continue and, and have the same growth that we would get on a nice sunny day. My name is Lloyd Traven. I am the president of Peace Tree Farm. I'm Alex Traven. I'm the second generation here at Peace Tree Farm. Peace Tree's always been really dedicated to being on the cutting edge of uh, sustainability. We've always looked at technology as part of what we do, and we always said this is how we want to approach our horticulture and saying, how do I streamline it? How do I eliminate bottlenecks? The climate has gotten less and less predictable. It's harder and harder to know what December is going to look like and what January is going to look like and what February is going to look like. In those dark winter months, having light or not having light is really critical to how your crops develop. We simply don't have the light levels that we require to have a beautiful, retail-ready produce. We have to have crops ready every single week of the year. We really needed some way that we could guarantee to some degree that we were gonna be able to hit a target. So we looked at really completely redo our lighting program. We had some areas of the greenhouse that had HID, uh, high pressure sodium lights in them. What we figured was going to dramatically improve our basil production actually made it worse. What we were getting was tall, spindly, gangly plants that as soon as you touch them would literally flop open. When we researched it, it was the lights that were causing it. Since we've switched over to the Fluence lighting, we're getting over three times the light level in the same area. We're doing it with less electricity. Benches are the same from end to end, from side to side. The plants are short, stout, sturdy, and we ship virtually every plant that's on a bench. It has cut our losses by 40%. Especially in those winter months, we've been able to cut weeks of crop time off of a lot of our crops. Something that might have taken six weeks to go from unrooted cutting to sellable starter plant is all of a sudden taking more like four weeks. Anything you can do that improves your lights in a quantifiable way and in an affordable way is going to dramatically improve your bottom line. We were really glad to make the switch to LED. We're never putting up another HPS light in this greenhouse.